it would uh, very quickly find itself, for example, cut off from banking services, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and suffer a very quick demise. In cases like, you know, President uh, Bukele, for example, in El Salvador has, uh, I don't know if you've seen some of his recent press, this guy, Juan Grillo, who's Mexico's leading drug, uh, uh, you know, war expert. He's like the, the you know, New York, New York Times is top, you know, journalist, like in the drug war, but he's a foreigner, so he's honest, right? And and Grillo goes down to El Salvador, and he's like, holy shit, Bukele has actually eliminated the gangs. And and how did he do this? You know, was it with Bitcoin? No. Uh, how he did this was he lowered the murder rate of El Salvador, previously the global world capital of homicide, to, I think it's actually now below the murder rate of Canada, and uh, over an order of magnitude. And he did this um, by um, praying. And no, he did this by <laughs> constructing giant prisons and blocking up all the gangsters. And, um, and, and this was not, you know, at all, did not at all meet with the approval of the um, Latin American Studies Department at Harvard or the State Department or anyone of this kind, because basically... El Salvador is a tiny, shitty little country. He's so far been able to get away with this, right? Um, you know, Kagame has gotten away with it in Rwanda.